Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here. That lighting doesn't seem to be the greatest, I apologize for that. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that supports and watches my YouTube channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, watching my videos, especially during these tough times. I hope that uh, everybody uh, that's part of my channel is out there safe and healthy and all that other stuff. I hope this... COVID-19 thing hasn't affected too many of y'all uh, too harshly. It's affected us a little bit. One way that it <laughs> one way that it's affected us is the fact that school ugh, is the fact that school is out for the rest of the year. So that leaves me with ugh, that leaves me with four kiddos. Here's two of them. <laughs> Here's three of them. Here's my oldest. Oh. And here comes my daughter. Come over here. You want to say hi? Okay. In the camera on YouTube. And my daughter. Hi. <laughs> here she is. <laughs> Try carrying so that me. leaves me at home not only working, but also taking care of four kiddos. Uh, fortunately, my, my wife is still working right now at the moment. But one of us is going to have to stay home. And homeschool these kiddos, keep the education going, which is going to obviously be me. And I think part of that education is going to involve automotive technology. So, you know, it's a little bit of a tough situation, but hey, what can you do other than adapt and uh, all that other good stuff? There, uh, for those of you that don't know, I don't know if I've ever gotten too much into my past, but I grew up in foster care my whole childhood. My mother abandoned me at 10 months old out there in the world somewhere. No idea who she is or where she is or what she is, anything like that. It was that type of an abandonment. And I ended up in foster care and I graduated out of foster care at the age of 18. So after all these foster homes and treatment centers and you name it, uh, you know, the system came to me at 18 and was like, you're 18, you're an adult, see you later, bye. During that time in my life, my childhood was an extremely rough time, full of abuse and neglect and foster care. I did have this one foster parent, though, who really took care of me and taught me some things. And one of the things he, he told me once was, he said, Matthew, tough times never last, but tough people do. And the, the way the system works, I wasn't always allowed to stay with this foster family for long periods of time just to keep it simple. They'd come and move me to another home and then I'd run away and I'd end up back with this family. And so he would tell me that for when I'd have to go live in other foster homes and stuff because I hated it. I wanted to stay with this one family, but the system got involved in bureaucracy and all this other crap. And so he'd tell me, Matthew, tough times never last, but tough people do. And then he'd say, you're a tough kiddo. And he was right. Tough times never last. I'm an adult now. I'm out. I'm not a kiddo anymore. I'm an adult. That's said and done. I've got my own beautiful family. All that abuse, all that neglect, all that bullshit, bureaucracy bullshit, and foster care. You name it. That's all said and done. Tough times never last. Tough people do. And that's how I'm here now today talking to you on YouTube, showing you cool car repair videos and introducing you to my family. So when it comes to this COVID stuff, I know there's a lot of negativity out there. There's a lot of death and illness and nastiness. And, and so sometimes it can be real easy to get wrapped up in that type of stuff. But remember, with everything that's going on, all of the pain and suffering that's going on right now, remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. And I'm willing to bet every one of you are some of the toughest people out there. So hang in there. Uh, I hope everything is going good for you guys. I'm gonna start posting a bunch of videos, the Toyota rust bucket, um, refurbishing camshafts, I'm dipping stuff in chemicals, I'm removing oil varnish out of engines, so I'm gonna be posting videos about that. I've got this big black Ford truck that I'm gonna be posting some cool videos on and stuff like that. I'm really not taking on any new work or customers unless people absolutely need their car fixed. I do got a family that I got to think about. And I mean, I don't want to get too crazy about this whole COVID thing. But, you know, the lesser people I can come into contact with is better because honestly, people's cars are just gross. Trust me, I've been in some really nasty cars. People don't clean their cars. So not for the most part. But 
But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be showing some videos and all these other projects that are going on and keep the channel going, keep some of you entertained, hopefully, while you're hanging out at home. Also, don't forget to check out teespring.com. I've got a new t-shirt merchandise thing going on up there. I've got that saying now on a t-shirt, tough times never last, but tough people do. I've also got my Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician t-shirt on there and some other things that I'm working on. As far as like merchandise goes, I hope to be able to make something out of selling t-shirts and mugs and you know, what have you, leggings. I think there's phone covers and all that stuff. But it's going to take some time to really get cool designs and get things figured out. So I'm going to start with my Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician t-shirt and my tough times never last, but tough people do and see how that goes. So if you want, go ahead and check that out. And I'm going to go ahead and get to work for the day. These guys are busy right now helping me clean this backyard. Where are you? There you go. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Figured. Figured I'd get them outside doing something right now. So, all right, guys, we'll hang in there. Also, if you if you would like, leave a comment uh, with your name and where you're from or whatever. And I'm a God fearing man, so I would love to pray for each and every one of you if that's what you believe in. So, uh, shoot me a comment, and we're all gonna get through this. All right, homies, talk to you later. <laughs> hey, Aiden. I got something in my shoe. Uh oh. All right, guys, bye. <laughs>